Money sign Eric here. Welcome back to another video. It's going to be a cooking video. So it's just two days of straight cooking. So if you guys are into uh, me and Viv cooking, well, mostly Viv, if you guys are into that kind of content, you're going to like this video. We got scrambled eggs and sausage, mentaiko udon, crawfish boil, and chicken and ravioli. Unfortunately, we are not going to be doing a Twitch watch party for this video because I'm not going to be streaming today. Uh, it's my little brother's graduation, so I'm going to be in New Jersey, unfortunately. So you guys are just going to have to watch this video by yourself. Chat, if you guys are watching this, uh, comment something nice on the video to make me feel good about myself. Like, Eric, you are the best Valorant player that I've ever seen. Something like that. Now, without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> First meal of the video, Viv, do you want to explain what it's going to be? Yep, we're going to be making a pepper omelet. With pork sausages. Yes, and it was uh, leftovers from the HelloFresh, but I didn't want to make it because it was too boring. So I was like, let me spice it up. Let me add a jalapeno and then use the green pepper that they provided. So here I am, also cutting oh, out my you're, own you're, tomatoes. No, 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 you're doing too much, you're doing too much. Oh. All right. So here, Viv, okay, well now Viv is putting <laughs> the onions in the pan. And we're going to saute them before everything else. Once the onions have been cooking for a little bit, we're going to add in some red hot chili flakes. That's going to spice things up a bit. Stir everything around, and Viv, you can take it over from here. It's called red pepper flakes, not chili flakes. Okay, okay, thanks. So, uh, and then right, I'm right. going to add the cut up peppers, saute that a little bit, and then I'm going to be... You don't even... No, 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 that. no, no, no that's me. I'm the sous that? chef. I'm doing the twirly uh, okay. twirly. Okay, all right. And then we're going to season it with garlic salt. Lari's the best. And, uh, you know, we can speed this up a little bit. It's okay, but after we salt the peppers, we're going to add in the cut up tomatoes, stir that in around as well. You want them to soften up a bit. And then we're going to crack some eggs open. Look at these little nut sacks. Whisk them around because the purpose of this is to make scrambled eggs here. Well, actually, no, it's supposed to be an omelet. Okay, okay, and okay, I okay, 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 that's because, okay. Well, it was supposed to be an omelet, but then you fucked up because you can't flip. Yeah, no, no, no. It's because I cut the vegetables up too much, okay? Please. I'm gonna fuck it up. Ready? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, scrambled eggs today. I would have been able to flip it. Once the omelet has been made, we're going to oil up the pan again, and we're gonna put our pork sausages down. The one on the left is mine, uh, right curve gang. Oh wait, well now, now it's on the right. Right curve gang, please rise. Let me know in the comments which way your wiener curves. And we're just going to cook that until it's cooked all the way through. Plate it properly on some flatbread that I didn't eat. And there you have it, we got breakfast, baby. Viv? Yummy. Mm. Uh, I'm tired. Because yesterday I did a 24 hour stream. I'm not staying here for 48 hours while he fucking screams at the fucking stream camera live every night, okay? That's what. First of, all, first, first of all, first of all, I don't scream into the mic like that, all right? I, I don't, I don't, okay? You're scaring me a little bit with that. First bite, here we go. Mmm, the scramble is good, babe. I know. Mm hmm. Mmm. And we also got sausage. Mm. It's nice that I got like crispy here. This meal is actually a Hello Fresh meal. Not sponsored. This video is not sponsored. We're just eating Hello Fresh because we actually eat it. Viv didn't agree with the recipe, so she just made her own version of it, which she likes to do. I think that's because I have an issue with following recipes and directions. Yeah, because you're so strong and independent. No, I just have no patience to read all of that. It's like two sentences. I know, I know, I know. What is that you're drinking right there? What do you think? Viv is like obsessed with this Trader Joe's uh, coconut cold brew coffee. You know, I'm not really into it because I don't drink coffee, but she loves it. So good. After I eat and digest a little bit, I'm gonna go to the gym. We just ate in silence for like. Because I thought you were recording. Mm, no, I wanted just... to talk to you. Talk to me, babe. No, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <gasps> what kind of logic is that? <laughs> <clears throat> no. 
Huh? It was a good meal. It was a good meal. We just ate, I did the dishes, and I got to, uh, blah, 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 blah. I got to digest before I go to the gym. So you're probably thinking, oh, Eric, you have some free time. You're probably going to play Valorant. No, no, no. No, I am not, because I am responsible. I have things to do, and I have to edit my video that you're watching right now. I'm also a liar. You're probably wondering, where are the gym clips, Eric? That's crazy, because I didn't go to the gym, and I played Valorant all day. But uh, now it's time for Viv and I to make dinner, and we're going to be making... Mentaiko Udon. Like Viv said, we're making Mentaiko Udon, so here is the cod row. We're going to open it up and squeeze out the little babies. We don't want to use the skin on the outside, because it's a bit, you know, the texture is a bit slimy. So we just got the eggs here, and then we got to wash our mushrooms. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. What kind of fuck? Look. <laughs> it's a classic. Pew, pew, pew. Jump, right click, pew. Once the mushrooms have been washed, we're just going to cut them up like so until we have a big batch right here. I know it looks like a lot, but it doesn't actually take up that much space once it's been cooked. Then Viv is going to cut up some onions here and we're gonna drop it in the pan, saute them as well. And we're going to add in a spoonful of garlic because that's a lot of flavor right there. And then Viv, you can take it over from here. Yeah, we're gonna put in the- Louder, please, louder. Okay, we're gonna put in the mushrooms that Eric took 10 minutes to cut okay, right. <coughs> and then okay, season minutes. them. Yes, uh-huh. And then we're gonna saute it until it shrinks and all the liquid comes out of it. And then shrinks like my balls in the sauna. And while that's cooking, we're gonna heat up the udon noodles. Blanch them, or is it blanch them? Yeah. Quickly boil them in water for a minute and add the cream after the mushrooms have been sauteed and, and browned. Okay, you're taking too long, man. Yeah, I can't. Then we're do gonna this. take out the udon noodles and put them into the mushrooms, add in the cod roe as well, mix everything together, and we're going to put in a little bit of parmesan. This is going to help thicken the sauce because we used oat milk, which is not as creamy. Typically, you, you would use like 2% milk, whole milk, or um, heavy cream. We're also going to add in some green onions for a garnish, and that's all there is to mentaiko udon. Pretty fucking delicious. Played it like so. We put it on a plate, I don't know why, but Viv said to. <coughs> yeah, baby. Here, I'm saying first bite for the camera, but it's also for you guys. First bite, here we go. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh my god, dude, the mentaiko is good. Mentaiko udon is one of the first things that Bib and I made together because we went out to a restaurant in K Town and we had the mentaiko oh, udon. Take 31. Take 31. And we were like, bro, this is garbage. And we were like, we can make it better. So we did. GG, guys. That's our meal. You want me to slip closer? To the cam. Here, take my noodle. Oh, really? Thank you. You said closer to the cam. You just slurped it. Oh, I forgot. I got more. <clears throat> closer to the cam. Okay, sorry. Mm. All right, guys. I got a stream now. Let's get it. I had two chicken euros last night and I haven't pooped yet, so I don't know how I'm going to handle this crawfish boil, but let's get it. I feel sick. 
Alright, I'm ready to fucking eat. I was actually in the bathroom and I took a shit. Huh? They're playing some bangers. I think what I'm gonna do is skip today's video or this week's video. Never mind. Viv said no, never mind. Y'all seen this shit? Let's see. Hello, Mr. Krabs. Mm. Oh, let's fucking go. It's actually spicy. Let's go. So to open one of these fuckers, you're going to attack it at the tail right here, where the tail meets the body, right here. You should have snapped that open like this. Just twist. You can choose to eat the head. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of funky though. I like it though. The majority of the meat is in the tail right here. You just grab the end of the tail and then pull out. Here's the killer, but we also got snow crab leg. And uh, this is by far going to be the best part of the meal. I'm gonna save it for last though. We also got some fat shrimp here. Shrimp. Shrimp is meaty. Yeah. Corn. Honestly, for me and Viv, light work. Three pounds of crawfish, I'm gonna only eat five next time. Also, it needs more sauce and it needs to be spicier, but everything else was phenomenal. 10 out of 10 meal. 10 out of fucking 10. It was worth it too. Yeah. It was buy four, get snow crab legs for free. Go get that degree, go girl. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, Lily, thank you very much. It's fucking delicious, man. I haven't had this. I haven't had funnel cake since Six Flags. They gave you free funnel cake sticks at the end. Mmm. With ice cream too, man. Also, this is um, chocolate sauce. I love funnel cake. Mmm. Viv and I came out to the park because after that boil, we were definitely going to pass out from a food coma. So we thought, why not just walk the dogs, be a little active. So here we are at Fort Greene Park. My camera's about to die, unfortunately, but just know that we're gonna hang out with Yaki and Terry. And then after that, I am going to go back home and Viv and I are gonna watch One Piece. <laughs> why does he jump like that? Stupid, bro. All right, Viv, you're gonna start us off with this one, so please explain what's going on. All right, so now we're gonna be making Trader Joe's ravioli. Okay, what about the chicken you just saw? I'm getting to it. Okay. And now we have some chicken thighs. We're gonna season with the citrusy blend and some garlic powder, salt, pepper, yada, yada. Spray down on the pan some avocado oil and cook it. And okay, cook it how though? You have to explain how. Just on the pan. Okay, but for how long? How, like, like, what's the I don't heat know, level? Like five minutes, okay. medium high. Okay. And then we're gonna boil some water with salt, but you didn't see that. And we're gonna flip it because it's been some time. And then I'm assuming, okay, and then we're gonna cut some tomatoes because that's gonna be part of the sauce for the ravioli and a part of an onion. 
<clears throat> Here I am slicing it so beautifully. Well, that's me actually cutting uh-huh. it. Uh-huh, and then throw in the ravioli. This is only going to boil for like two to three minutes. Mm-hmm. Once it rises, you're going to take it out, put it into the side, and while the chicken's cooking, you want to finish that. Oh, and then, you know, throw in some lemon juice because we like some lemon chicken. Yeah, but we're going to add butter as well, which is going to give it a very fatty flavor with mm-hmm. the lemon. It, it complements it very, very well. Viv is going to baste the chicken thighs, which is going to give it some extra flavor and juiciness, which isn't, you know, isn't always needed with chicken thighs because it's a very juicy meat. Well, not really, but, you know, for chicken it is. Uh, put it off onto a plate. Make sure you get all the sauces on the pan. Put that over as well. And then on that same pan, without washing it, we're going to saute our onions, add in the tomatoes as well, and have it cook all together. You'll notice that in this video, we've used onions and the tomatoes in almost every meal. Add in some diced tomatoes as well, and we're going to add hot chili flakes and a tablespoon of butter. Put in some of the water that was used to boil the ravioli, and this is going to be the base for our sauce. Once the sauce is done, we're going to add in our ravioli, and that's pretty much it. Mix everything together, make sure the tomato sauce is on the ravioli, and just plate it. We're going to put a piece of chicken on top, and then obviously we're going to add in a little bit of parmesan, which I think was very necessary because it helped cut the acidity of this entire dish. Oh, also in the tomato sauce we put honey because oh, you yeah, want to hot put honey. sugar in it. Hot honey was fucking delicious. It was an absolutely amazing addition, and I don't think it would have tasted as good without it. But there you have it, chicken with ravioli with tomatoes and onions and hot honey and parmesan. What is up, guys? Uh, our beautiful wife, Viv, I mean, my beautiful wife, Viv, made uh, ravioli with chicken, and she made her own sauce, all that, with tomatoes and onions. And we're going to be eating this for dinner. Ravioli, first bite. Here we go. Mmm. I wish I had more Parmesan. Also, I really like the hot honey. In it? Yeah. <clears throat> I think all the flavors mesh together really well. And it's like sweetness, some spice, um, some acidity, salty as well. Mm. Damn, I wish I had more chicken. We do have more chicken. Wait, can I eat it? Mm. It's what? a smaller one. Wait, why? So we can save some. You don't have to be eating a lot of it, you know? I'm starving. All right, guys, we got another chicken, but it's tiny, so whatever. Mm. Tell chat um, what we did after the dog park. <clears throat> what did we do? After the dog park, we came home and watched One Piece. That was it. That was it, yeah. yeah that's all we did. And then we did laundry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you guys were thinking, damn, Eric, you didn't record anything today. It's because I didn't do anything. We're on, uh, we're still on Punk Hazard, but we're kind of breezing through it right now. We're binging. Should be done with the arc by the end of the night. I think my hair's been a mess all day. Because mm-hmm. I haven't done it. Whatever. All right, after we eat, um, surely Viv and I will be eating more snacks later tonight, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll show you guys what we eat then. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it as usual. Shout out to my Oilers in the Twitch chat that keep my business running. And also shout out to all the other people. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will be back next Tuesday with another video as always. And as usual, join my Discord server, link in the description. And come watch me on Twitch Sundays to Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern to midnight. Also, one, one last thing before I go. Uh, recently, my Twitch stream and I have been doing 5v5 custom Valorant games with money on the line. Destroyed, <laughs> Kaizen. Oh, Bahars with a frenzy, of course. Spike What's planted. he gonna do here? Oh! I knew I was on the right guy, bro. I knew I was on the right guy. Holy shit, is this an ace? Is this an ace? Oh my god! Oh, no fucking what? way, what dude. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Last one, Shardy. Fuck. Let's go, Shardy. Sky's a little bit up. Sky's a little bit up. Oh! oh my god.
Yeah, oh, okay. Fuck. Yeah, oh, around. Fuck. I should have just saved the yob, honestly. Oh, fuck. It was a good try. So they're 5v5 money matches, and if you guys are interested in that, I've decided that every Wednesday we'll do them, or I'll host them. So come by, all you have to be is a subscriber, and then we have varying prizes for the winning teams. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Salamat, thanks, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Peace. Take what you want from me.